Hi. Today we are going to learn about if and else statement. Let me take it to you on that screen. OK, so here we can see if and else statement. Now let me explain this concept with an example. Suppose you are going out from your house and there is a condition. So if it is raining outside, then you will wear raincoat, right? But if it's not raining, why will you wear a raincoat, correct? So if it's raining, then only you will wear a raincoat. Else you will not wear a raincoat. Is it understood? OK, let me explain it with an another example. You are hungry. You are so much hungry and you want food. So what you will do is you will get something from the kitchen or order something. Suppose you order one item. OK, you eat that item. Then again, you were still hungry. So what you did was you go to your kitchen and you eat something else. See, if you are hungry, you are eating. Then again, you are hungry. Then you are eating. And for the third time, you want a dessert. Yeah, you want a dessert. So you will eat a dessert and after it, after three times, you are full now. So what will happen? You will not eat anymore. Am I correct? Yeah. So when you were hungry, if you are hungry, you will eat. Again, you were hungry. This process continues. This statement executes again like you are eating again and for the third time again you were hungry so you go to kitchen and you eat something correct but the fourth time you weren't hungry so you skipped it now you don't want to eat correct so this means that it will execute the if statement will execute a statement if a specified condition is true. When you were hungry, you were eating. Again, you were hungry, you were eating. So it means that statement was true. Whenever you were eating, it was true. But when you were full, it become false. So the if condition is false, another statement can be executed. See, when you were eating, it was executed. It was a true statement, right? But as soon as I you got full, it becomes it become a false statement. So this means if statement executes a statement, if a specified condition is true, if statement is false, then another statement can be executed. Let me take you to some real program, real project, so that you will exp you will get a full exposure to that. OK. So yeah. See here now this is ballerina and she was asked that do you want to go to a birthday party? Do you want to go to a party? Here you can see. If the answer is yes. See if the answer is yes. Then she will say I can't wait for the party. And back, so the backdrop will be switched to concert backdrop. It will be a party backdrop. If she says no. See. If statement is executed, if she says yes, otherwise or else. She will say I have to stay home and the backdrop switches to back 
bedroom one. So let's try one by one. What is happening if she says yes and what what is happening if she says no? OK, as soon as I press this green flag, let's see. Do you want to go to the party? Let's see if we say yes. What happens? See, she's saying I can't wait for the party and now there's a party backdrop in the background background, right? And again. If she if she's asked, do you want to go to the party? And she says no. Then see what happens. I have to stay home. And this screen appears in front of us. So what I mean is. If statement is only occurring when the particular thing is happening, when the answer was yes, it was happening. It was true, but. When the answer is opposite. The other part, the other statement is executed. So if this statement is true, this will this will be executed. Otherwise, the next statement will be executed because this statement will be false. I hope you understand the concept and see you next time. Bye bye.